and a very good afternoon, everyone. Jeremy here upon strategic.com.sg. And uh, Singapore Airlines is now in focus with a market recap of the Straits Times Index. Uh, and in my last video, we talked about the STI breaking out from a downtrend since 2018. And SI is doing the same. It has now broken to the upside since 2015. So a little bit of a history. For Singapore Airlines, we made a all-time high at about $14.80 back slightly just before 2000 and uh, there again a secondary high but a low high at about $14.20 somewhere in 2007 and thereafter Lehman, uh, it hit a low at about six fifty, and started a downtrend at about $7 to a pandemic low of almost three dollars and twenty cents all right so Singapore Airlines has been on a downtrend since 2008 effectively for the past 12 years lower highs lower highs lower highs and lower lows all right so uh, with this as a backdrop let's have a look at the technical picture for the month of March 2021 so zooming in since 2015, August, uh, the, month, the month of August, uh, we had a short signal for Singapore Airlines at $7. And from there onwards, uh, uh, if you had held that particular short all the way till the pandemic lows at about 320, uh, you would have uh, sort of uh, doubled your money. All right on a short basis all right so uh for sq essentially after the uh, pandemic low of about three dollars and twenty cents hit also on the 3rd of august 2025 years later the uh, sia has bounced back from this low and has broken the super trend line to the upside breaking this five or six year downtrend uh, that started in 2015. So what is next? The target will be ultimately at $7.05, which was the breakdown level five years ago. And uh, the first intermediate target would definitely be at about $5.75 for it to consolidate and form some price action above the cloud, this particular Ichimoku cloud before a bounce to test $7.05 and perhaps break above, all right? So uh, we need to watch because there's still quite a bit of work to be done for SQ to uh, resume its uptrend. Yes, it has broken that, uh, out of this super trend line, but uh, it needs a lot of work, probably at least a couple of months for it to break above this, the Ichimoku cloud and then test $7.05 and then try to move higher. Zooming into a weekly basis, uh, the long signal for most investors was actually uh, at uh, around November last year, where the long signal was given, uh, issued at about $4 with a break of the super trend line turning positive. And uh, as you can see, this is kind of the price action that you expect after the price breaks above the super trend line here. You will see that price action tends to maneuver around here and then try to squeeze above the cloud, break the cloud, maintain above the cloud line, and thereafter uh, reach its target to the upside. All right. So currently, uh, the uh, weekly charts looks pretty good. The consolidation more or less is over, broken above the cloud line, and then right now closing at 570. All right. So 705 is somewhere around here. It's got a little bit of a ways to go before it hits 705, depending on news flow and depending on the performance of the company over the next two years post pandemic. But uh, on a weekly basis, the uh, charts look bullish, uptrend above the Ichimoku cloud and above the super trend line. On the daily chart, which most of you have been using, uh, once again, long signal was around $4 or $4.37 and uh, the long signal was issued, uh, reissued again actually this year on the 8th of February. The earlier signal was actually issued uh, first on the 10th of November last year at around $3.58 and thereafter uh, corrected a little bit around this region, all right, and then 
bounce above the cloud and then currently closing at 570. So what is important for the dailies chart is for you to watch the pivot at $5.27 right there. All right, so we expect price action to either uh, move on to test $7 or maybe retreat down to $5.27 and then make higher highs again. That is the positive bullish note on a shorter term basis. On an even shorter term on the four hourly charts, the long signal was issued on the 2nd of February this year at $4.19. And target initially was 546. The target has been hit, and currently that particular target forms a pivot support at $5.55. <clears throat> and those, for those who are taking a swing or just a short uh, punt on SIA, is a good area to take profits at about 555. Uh, uh, but as of now, the four hourly charts look very positive and the Singapore Airlines shares are bullish on both short-term time frames. <clears throat> so in conclusion, for Singapore Airlines, um, it's a very important event that SQ has bro broken above the $5.46 level, broken this downtrend that has been started since 2015, uh, with a short at $7.05, and right now our target is $7.05 for Singapore Airlines. It's got a little bit of work to go. Weekly charts looking very positive, so uh, we might be able to test the $7.05 level pretty uh, within the next couple of months in a medium term. And on the shorter term time frames, we have a pivot support at $5.27 as well as $5.55 for this uptrend to uh, continue all right may take a pause if we break 527 uh, and thereafter resume a climb back up to 705 so overall uh, multiple time frame short term is uh, bullish medium term bullish as well as long term turling bullish assuming we can clear uh, and break above the Ichimoku cloud above $5.75. So all these levels will be uh, put into my blog. Do have a look at the blog at www.constrategic.com.sg. The links will be in the video. And if you find the video meaningful, please uh, subscribe and uh, click on the like button. Thanks very much for watching and have a great weekend.